Hi everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here with uh, Eric McInerney of Heimsmith Architects. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great, and you? Um, good. Uh, we just finished this house with Heimsmith. Uh, Eric was the uh, lead architect on the project, uh, project manager, project architect, sorry. All that. All the above. And uh, I wanted to do a quick video today on the HVAC uh, system that we employed on this house and the strategy we used and very specifically the standalone dehumidifier that we used. Um, so Eric, would you tell us just a little bit about the size of the house and how we selected uh, HVAC equipment? Well, the house is just over 3,200 square feet. Um, in addition to doing a really good job of insulating it, using our solar overhangs to cool and getting the right solar orientation of the house, we've split the, the house into two, two units, an upstairs unit and a downstairs unit. The upstairs unit has about 1.5 tons of cooling the, uh, the downstairs unit has about two tons of cooling with a dual stage compressor so that we can it can actually adjust a little bit to the loads downstairs. That gives us about 3.5 tons of, of cooling, which is about 900 square foot per ton of air conditioning, which is really good for this climate. Yeah, that's great in this climate. But one of the things that we, about this climate is we have a lot of, especially in the, in the well spring and fall, we have a lot of really nice days where it's cool but a little humid. So what we've done is we've added a separate dehumidification unit to the system so that in those situations, the air conditioners don't have to work hard to dehumidif dehumidify the space. They can stay off and the hum dehumidification unit can stay on and take care of that work. It can save us a little more energy and make our air conditioners work a little less hard. And, and if I could chime in on that too, what Eric's talking about is, is kind of those uh, before season, after season days where let's say the temperature outside is 82 degrees. It's not super hot for Austin, like it's going to be 104 today. We're in August. Um, so it doesn't take very much for that air conditioner to satisfy the ambient temperature in the house. But because that air conditioner is not running for a super uh, long period of time with those low um, levels of, of air conditioning needs, there's not a lot of dehumidification happening during that time. So the house might go to a relative humidity between let's say 60 or 70 percent which turns out to be very uncomfortable as a result I know in my house I turn the temperature down when I really don't need to turn the temperature down I need a lower dehumidification or a lower relative humidity rather so let's uh, stop the video here let's run up to the attic and we'll show you what that unit looks like and talk a little bit more about how that works all right so Eric and I are back we're up in the attic now isn't this a beautiful attic Eric it is nice and cool nice and cool it's about August so it's Still morning, so it's probably mid 90s outside, and it's plenty cool in here. Uh, with the, so the ducks aren't running through a hot attic. The uh, attic spaces in, in Texas generally get into the 140, 150 degree range. Super hot. But here, we you know we're not that much. You know, maybe five or so degrees um, hotter than the uh, rest of the space of the house. Yeah, this is really. This is the way you need to build an, a, uh, an HVAC system in Texas in this hot, humid climate, is by bringing the ducts into the air-conditioned space of the house. If you think about the difference in this attic temperature, it could be as much as 50 degrees cooler in here compared to if we would have insulated at the floor level and run all this duct up into the hot attic. So that's, that's really our number one rule when we're talking about uh, HVAC systems. But the point of what we're going to talk about today was this Ultra Air. It's by um, a manufacturer called Thermostore. This is one of their larger models. This is their uh, 150 model. So it, it will remove up to 150 pints of water uh, during the course of one day. And really, this is, this is an amazing system, and it's what I'm recommending to all my clients now. Um, Eric, do you want to talk about what, what the three pipes are that, uh, that you see over there? Well, right. What this uh, unit is doing, this is the outside air intake for the entire air conditioner unit. It comes down through here, it gets dehumidified, and then goes as a, this, this duct here is going to the supply. Mm -hmm. This duct here is coming from one of the returns of the house, so it has a, a damper controlled outside air intake yep. and a, um, a normal return. So it's taking those air, that air in, dehum, dehumidifying it, and then pumping it back through to the um, return uh, section of the uh, air conditioning unit. Yeah, if we can show you the racetrack a little bit, that duct that, uh, that we're showing here is coming from the dehumidifier and then it's dumping back into the return side of the furnace. So we've got, um, we've got a very small CFM of outside fresh air, enough to meet that ASHRAE 62.2 standard. Um, but then it's coming, that, that fresh air that's been dehumidified is coming through the return side 
And the reason why we do that is we want to filter that air as well. We're in, we're in a very allergy prone uh, climate with a lot of pollen in the air and a lot of other outdoor allergens. This April Air system is about a five inch wide pleated, pleated media uh, filter, a little tongue twister there. Not quite HEPA quality, but very, very close. It's like 99 point something percent effective. And then it's getting distributed through the rest of the house. Um, so this, this is gonna be a very, very efficient system. Let's go downstairs and we'll show you how this system is, is uh, controlled through a wall switch. All right, so now we're downstairs. That, that unit is, is directly above us in that air-conditioned attic space, and I want to show you how it's getting controlled. We've got two uh, controllers side-by-side -side here. This controller is the uh, thermostat controller. This is an HAI-based uh, system, so it's pretty awesome. The clients can control it from their iPhone wherever they are. But this, this controller is only controlling the indoor temperature in the house. An air conditioner is fairly dumb. We, it dehumidifies uh, as a byproduct of cooling the air, but it's not technically trying to go for a specific set point in relative humidity. This controller, on the other hand, is the April Air Controller. And if you can zoom in here, let's, let's show you what some of the options are, what the settings are on this. This one is also telling you temperature. However, this, this is not controlling temperature. What is controlling is relative humidity. So this is showing 46% relative humidity right now. And the set point on this unit is actually 48% relative humidity. We'd want to set this uh, typically somewhere between, let's say, 45 and maybe 50, 55 degrees uh, year round for relative humidity. We want to maintain between 40 and 60% uh, relative humidity to be really comfortable in our houses. When you start getting above 55 or 60, it starts getting real uncomfortable. And those are the days in my personal house where I'm turning down the thermostat to cool even though I don't need to be cooler, I just need to be drier inside my house. Um, I think it's a really good system. I'd highly recommend this if you live in a hot, humid climate like Austin, Texas. Eric, anything to add on that? Uh, one other thing, uh, uh, this, this is actually the unit that is controlling the, um, the outside air damper. It periodically yeah. opens the damper to let air in. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is very tight. Um, so we really do have to think about getting outside air. In fact, we even have an outside air damper for the vent hood downstairs yep. uh, in the kitchen. So it periodically comes on, lets a little uh, outside air come in um, for, you know, to keep everything fresh, but it dehumidifies it right as it's coming in. So yeah, we, we don't have to have that mix. Exactly, we're not trying to bring in real humid, hot air. It's still hot when we bring in that fresh air. There is a small energy penalty, but it's worth it. We want to. Remember, we want to build as tight as possible, and we want to ventilate correctly. HVAC jobs need a V. That's the ventilation in HVAC. Eric, great job designing the house. Appreciate all your help and your partnership. It's been a really fun project, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing how this performs for your client. Well, great job building it, and um, can't wait to see what the energy bills look like. Should be fun. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.